Good morning. Today we're going to make a new type of scrambled eggs called scrambled wevalini. Here we have two eggs for scrambled wevalini. We're going to take one here. One minute. We're going to take one here, just one minute. And we are going to um, open it up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And now we're going to take egg number two and proceed to do the same thing. Here's egg number two, and here is the and here is the scrambled eggs, which will be placed in this pan. One minute. So you could get a, a view of how we're going to do scrambled wevalini. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And now that we have finished the first part, we're going to take a drop of milk for scrambled wevalini. And we are going to take the batter of the scrambled wevalini. Here is one drop of milk. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <coughs> and we are going to mix it all together. Like so. In the meanwhile, we have our frying pan ready, right here, and we're going to add in the frying pan some olive oil. And at the same time, we're going to add it for the other recipe that we're going to be doing, the corned beef hash. Okay, and we need two spatulas, especially when one is allergic to eggs. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We have to keep this going. We have to keep the um, the, the, the things moving. Spatula number one. And I need spatula number two. No, I don't have spatula number two, so I'm going to wing it somehow. We're going to remove, we're going to like redistribute the spatula. Oh yes, and now with the piece of resistance, we're going to pour our eggs for our scrambled wevalini. while I find a replacement spatula for, and then we're going to cook, we're going to cook the, the eggs and make a, a plate for the, uh, This is going to be so great. And now we're going to get started. We're going to put it on high. In the meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're now going to empty the hash brown. Or the corned beef. One minute. No, this isn't doing great, but we're doing a great job here. Okay, this finishes this part here. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, now we're keeping an eye on the scrambled eggs. 
and hoping that they will be done without any problems. So let's take the paper towel. If only had the spatula for the um, for the eggs. <clears throat> As you see, we're like moving the eggs around so that because since this is not a Teflon type pan, we have to move the eggs around and hope and hope that they are still well cooked. Mm. With this, you could apply some marge. If you, you, if I would prefer to do these plain, but you can always do scrambled lavalini. With, uh, with, um, with salt, with margarine, with cheese, with bacon, all that you love. For those who say, why did I get scrambled huevalini? Is that there's a person who called Evo and they used to call him huevo in Spanish. So we had huevalini. Right now, we're doing this on a high oven. And it's supposed to be brown, but I think we're doing okay here. Looks more like the airline type of, of scrambled eggs, but we're doing beautiful here. We're doing beautiful. And here is so you have the final resistance, the final, the final stage of the scrambled eggs. For Volcano Club, this is RCAG, and may God bless.